Hi guys and welcome back. So this time I'm gonna make it so the things we draw on our screen is actually moving. Right now we just have a picture and we draw this picture and the program ends pretty much. So what we need to do now is have it run in a loop. So first off I'm gonna make a new um, variable called uh, sleep time. This is gonna be the time each um, time the loop runs it's gonna sleep for a while and this is gonna be it so what you do here is normally if you just set it to repeat over and over it'll it's gonna repeat a thousand times per second so if you want to get your your frames per second to a specific specific number you type in a thousand and divide by the amount of frames you want so if you sleep for this time each time the, the program runs we're gonna get 30 frames per second. So I need to add another variable. It's gonna be the last refresh. I'm gonna need this uh, variable to check whether uh, how long ago it was we refreshed last time. So now I'm gonna make the uh, function that's gonna it's gonna refresh. I'm gonna call it void uh, sleep and refresh. So in here first thing we want to do is add a while loop. This is always going to be running until um, it's time for it to uh, to draw again, to update the screen. So while through um, we want to type if um, and then we get the system dot current time in, millis in milliseconds. So if this, I'm just going to add a parenthesis here is this minus the last refresh this value gives us how long time ago it was how many milliseconds ago it was that uh, we last refreshed so if this is larger than uh, our sleep time meaning that they spend more time than, um, than we should sleep then we are gonna refresh so first off we set the last refresh to our time right now. Then um, we're gonna repaint our screen. Oh sorry, small r. What this method does is pretty much it just calls this paint component again. Uh, you can't call it directly because you need to insert a graphic graphics object. So um, and then we are gonna going to break this loop, this true loop, or it's, it will just be continuing forever. So if this isn't true, if it's not time to sleep, no, sorry, if it's not time to update, we're gonna sleep instead. So else, here we're gonna sleep. Um, to sleep, we first need to add a try and catch um, loop. This is because the sleep method um, has some errors that might go through and we need to make sure the program doesn't crash if that happens. So what we need to do here is fret.sleep and now we simply need to add how many milliseconds we need to sleep. So what we're gonna do here is take this value. This value shows how long a time ago it was we last slept. So um, um, we have to cap um, capture this in a long because that's what the, vari the function takes. So this is how li long time ago um, the uh, the last time we slept was. So I'm actually gonna add one more parentheses. So I'm gonna say sleep time minus this value. This means we're gonna sleep until um, we have reached the point where we are we need to update. So now this sleep and refresh uh, method is actually done. So we're just gonna call the function here at the end of our paint component. So sleep and refresh. And now it's gonna run again and again. But we can't see it's gonna run again and again because we're just drawing the same thing. So I'm gonna draw something so we can see that it's running. So first off I'm gonna clear the screen. Um, D dot clear rect oops clear act and then zero zero two thousand one thousand two hundred whatever 
uh, this is gonna uh, just clear everything we draw drawn in this rectangle. Um, if we didn't do this, we would just be drawing um, on top of each other. So say we draw a string, and then we draw a string, and we just draw, draw the current milliseconds, seconds, current time in milliseconds. Yes, draw it here. Oh, and because this is a long, we get we need to add this so it becomes a string. Yeah, so let's just run it. As you key, as you can see in the top corner, we are drawing the milliseconds. This is the seconds you can see it's updating. So now we made our running frame. In the next tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to rotate the view so you can watch this 3D object from different angles. So see you guys.